Hello, this is Will Harold, the Energy Hunter, coming to you from Akashic Intelligence, the original AI, and the Rogue River in Southern Oregon. Today, I'm going to recap what we've accomplished to date from my original video I did about a year ago, and uh, which I talked about things that we were going to talk about this year. And then I'm going to go into actually some of the things that we're going to talk about the coming year in 2022. I've been told by a friend that yesterday on the 2nd of February was 022022, lots of twos, was an opening in a portal and a gateway to manifest. So I'm going to try to speak some of these things into existence and see if we can manifest them for the year of 2022. So last year, I talked quite a bit about some of the things that we were going to try to cover on this channel, which was biogeometry, which we did cover, uh, a little bit about biological ionization, which we did cover in some of the talks, but our main focus this year was actually on Walter Russell and the Wave. We had a Secret of Light group, which is still ongoing, in which we're in part three of the Secret of Light. And uh, we will continue to talk about Walter Russell and the wave on this channel on Akashic Intelligence. And we will also talk about some other topics such as uh, Wilhelm Reich and Orgone. We'll talk about Keeley machines. If people don't know anything about Keeley, you can uh, just Google K-E-L-L-Y and what Keeley machines are, the machines that are actually operated by the consciousness. And we're also gonna talk about Tesla and um, scalar energy. So the Akashic Intelligence Channel is mainly gonna concentrate on the Akasha. And if you don't know what the Akasha is, the Akasha is really a concept that was put forth by Blavatsky in theos Theosophy and comes from the Eastern practice that the Akasha can also be called the ether. So the Akasha holds all information, all knowledge. It's said that we can actually learn all things through the Akasha. This is kind of illustrated in the Bible also that when the Israelites um, were instructed by their God to create the temple, they were downloaded all the information of how to work metal and wood and music and all different types of things directly from the Akasha. So we're going to and within the Akashic Intelligence, that's why it's called the original AI. There's nothing artificial about it. It's pure intelligence from source, which also is what Walter Russell talks about in the knowing. So we're going to concentrate on the knowing. We're going to concentrate on the Akasha within the Akasha Intelligence. And we're also going to um, look at some other aspects of spirituality within meditations, within um, some of Steiner's work of accessing elemental beings and uh, some meditations. I've been asked by uh, some new friends to actually do a little talk on elemental meditation through my friends at uh, Wild Alchemy over in the UK. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. And we're gonna actually do some alchemy also on this channel and maybe a little bit of magic also. Um, I've been taking and studying some uh, magic courses from Richard Allen Miller. So we will talk about, we'll try to blend all these um, topics together within the Akashic Intelligence channel. Now, with that, I also have a property that I'm broadcasting from right now, which I call New Rivendell, which is on the Rogue River in Southern Oregon. And this property is going to be uh, set up kind of like a Rivendell was for the elves. It's going to be a place of learning and of spiritual enlightenment. And um, it's going to really focus on the spiritual side or what I'd like to call the priest side. If anybody watched the video I did last year called the uh, Melchizedek model, which is based on the king and priest archetype, you can go back and watch it if you wish. This is really the priest side. So Akashic Intelligence is the priest side. I recently acquired a new property, which is actually going to be a ranch. It's called Eagle Medicine Ranch. It's up in the hills also of Southern Oregon, but not on the river, but more on the hillside and has a view of the valley. And I think it has a very spiritual connotation to it, but that property and that channel is actually gonna be more dedicated to the 
king side. So if you look at the priest side, it's the spiritual side. If you look at the king side, it's the land side. So Eagle Medicine Ranch is really going to concentrate more on the land, on the doing, to where the Akashic Intelligence side is more on the being. So when we look at the doing on the Eagle Medicine Ranch side, we're going to talk quite a bit about biological ionization also. And that's a, a term that was brought forth by uh, Carrie Reams. And it really has to do with when we test the soil, because when if you, believe, if you understand terrain theory versus germ theory, and I follow terrain theory, then the body and the earth are the same in basic concepts. So as we look at the um, soil within biological ionization, we're going to test the soil at, the, at Eagle Medicine Ranch and see what can grow there. We're also going to look at the overall ranch for its microclimates, for permaculture and revitalization of culture. Uh, within there. Um, we're going to try to restore some of the natural biomes that occur there. Uh, one thing that I learned while from Deb Lando was that uh, honeybees are not native to the United States. They're actually brought in by the Europeans. So we're going to actually try to put in some native um, habitat for the pollinators that are native to, to Oregon, which are really moths, butterflies, uh, bumblebees and um, some other types of bees, but not the honeybees, which came from Europe. So we're going to try to re revitalize that um, biome. We're also going to look at biogeometry and how that can be used uh, on the property and what are the practical applications of biogeometry. Within Acacia Intelligence, we'll also be looking at biogeometry, but we're going to be looking at it more as a theoretical practice and why we do what we do within biogeometry. And then in, within the Eagle Medicine Channel, we'll actually be doing the actual practices on the earth. Um, the other thing that we're gonna look at is sovereignty on Acacia Intelligence. We're gonna look at spiritual sovereignty. I already did a series of four videos on that last year, which you can follow, but we'll be covering some new aspects of spiritual sovereignty also. On Eagle Medicine, we'll actually be looking at land sovereignty and personal sovereignty. So on the land sovereignty side, I'm working with a fellow by the name of Ron Gibson here in Southern Oregon. He's out of Medford. He wrote this book, Land Patents. And he also wrote this book, um, Not a Slave. And we're gonna be reviewing that for the land because I am going to put Eagle Medicine Ranch into a land patent. Within Eagle Medicine, we're also going to look at personal sovereignty. We're going to look at status correction and how to set up trusts and private societies or nonprofits or foundations. I haven't decided which yet I'm going to do, but we're going to talk a little bit about my journey into that as we begin to find personal sovereignty based on the land, starting with the land patent. And I chose this area of the United States to move to because Ron Gibson had already done a lot of work with Jackson County, which is the county in which both my properties are in with filing land patents and being successful in that. So that was a choice I made to actually make the process easier since it's already been done before and I don't have to reinvent the wheel. So within Eagle Medicine, we're also gonna look a little bit at um, what to plant, because it's really a two-year process when you start a ranch or a farm. It's actually a three-year, it takes about three years sometimes for many of your crops or fruit trees or things that you wanna um, initiate to begin to produce any type of um, edible food. Um, so within that, it's gonna be probably about a two or three-year process within uh, to develop Eagle Medicine Ranch. But within that, I'm also gonna build like a sweat lodge. And that sweat lodge, is going to be not only it's going to be based basically as a circle because and kind of have the shape of a teepee because that's the shape that Ibrahim Karim from biogeometry says is the most beneficial for health. But I'm going to begin because I'm not a Native American. I'm I've been I was I guess I am Native American. I was born in the United States, but I'm not from the culture of Native Americans, which Eagle Medicine has a great tradition in. I'm actually going to morph eagle medicine to a little bit more of a westernized approach to where I'm going to combine different sciences. So I'm actually going to incorporate science 
into the study of the spiritual side of eagle medicine. And with that, what I'm talking about as I build the sweat lodge, I'm going to stick with the basic footprint that is done by the Native Americans, but I'm actually going to incorporate orgone technology from Wilhelm Reich. And I'm also going to incorporate biogeometry principles. And I'm going to do some, I'm probably going to actually bury some of the sweat lodge in the earth um, to get some earthing principles also, which was not common within the Native American culture. So as I begin to develop this eagle medicine, it's actually going to be a hybrid based on some technologies that weren't available or weren't known by Native Americans, but I'm going to incorporate those into the basic practice of eagle medicine. One of the other things I'm going to uh, build on the, on the ranch is a foundry. I'm going to um, actually begin to melt metals and create some metal work along with the orgone work. And we're going to begin to craft some metal pieces that actually have a ability to uh, bring in biogeometry and orgone and um, to concentrate on shape, form, and number, but as within biogeometry to be, bring in beneficial energy. The idea of the sweat lodge, which I said incorporating these orgone principles, is to make it what Reich called a healing box. Uh, Reich built a box with uh, wood on the outside and metal on the inside. And he said that this generated orgone was inside the box and people would sit in the box. And actually, um, he said they, again, he said, I'm not saying, he said that their cancer was cured by doing this. So uh, not only will this be a sweat lodge, which will have the properties of fire and heat, but will also have this orgone energy within it. Also, we'll be putting crystals and things um, on the floor and around to actually uh, vibrate at a higher resonance also. So those are the topics that we're going to talk about on both channels. And I'll be posting on both places. Uh, Eagle Medicine is um, on the uh, Akashic Intelligence channel on YouTube, and I will be uh, putting a link to Akashic um, Eagle Medicine is on the Acacia Intelligence channel, and I'll also be putting a link to Acacia Intelligence on the Eagle Medicine channel. So you can get back and forth to both, but both will be covering different subjects. So with that, this is Will Harold, the Energy Hunter from Acacia Intelligence, the original AI, and Eagle Medicine from Eagle Medicine Ranch in Southern Oregon. Please like and subscribe. I look forward to the new year with all of you, and may you all have a blessed year.